Hey everybody, I have got a fabulous stuffed taco meatloaf recipe that I'm going to share with all of you. So stay tuned. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Don't get too close. I don't want to scare the children. I'm Wendy, Harry's the cameraman, and little Sally is running around somewhere. You guys, my face is notably swollen today. Um, I had IPL treatment on my face, chest, and hands yesterday. And what IPL stands for is intense pulse light. And it is where they take super intense light that feels like a little needle. They put goggles on me and they hit all of the, any age spots, discoloration, any teeny weeny um, veins that are showing, any of those types of things, any complexion irregularities on my face and it's a zap, bright red light. They put those little, I call them, they look like little spoons over your eyes. Anyway, I woke up this morning so swollen because she did between my eyes and my nose area. And look at, now this is totally first thing in the morning waking up, you know, puff, puff, worse than now. And I could hardly see. Harry's gonna insert that here right now. So as you can see, my nose is swollen. My eyes are swollen. I've got, I'm full of water and puffiness. But what they do is they see all the little spots are sticking way out because that's where all the intense laser was. Any little blood vessels she hit, and that's all swollen. See, I've got water pockets. My eyes, she got really close in the bridge of my nose. My lips were numb because she zapped me right under the nose. Yeah, you're all swollen up. Man. I am really swollen. And then look at my chest. It's really red and sticky outy because she zapped. I mean, she just went down zip, 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 zip with the light. And then my hands have a few zaps. She said I've got beautiful hands, though, skin-wise. That made me well, feel do. really good. I've got one, two, three, four... A big one there, five, six. And you guys, this will take a few days to come unswollen because this bridge of my nose is really... Yeah, you're really swollen. I mean, my eyes... my it eyes almost doesn't even look like you almost. My eyes aren't even white because they're swollen. But it's all water. Yeah. But it pulls the, wa it pulls the collagen up. So I just wanted to share. You guys wanted to know if you've ever had a tattoo, it's like having your complete face chest and hands tattooed the pain of a tattoo only there's a zap a bright red light with every single little needle like feeling zap it's not a needle but it's it's she pushes it anyway i'll explain it after i get dressed but i just wanted to share everything with everybody yeah it, it's really you are really i am swollen. really swollen yeah it doesn't even look like you no and you guys my chest she really i mean it's like getting a tattoo with bright light involved even through the goggles you can see the red uh bright lightning so you are feeling little needle like zaps and there's a cold wind that blows on your face at the same time but you can still feel it it's like, like I said, getting a huge tattoo on my chest, huge tattoo on my face and hands. And it's an hour and a half process. Yes, I tortured myself on, pro she on purpose. Paid, paid for good it. money to look puffy and swollen, but it is so worth it because my face looks so, my skin looks so good. And because that light pulses and does that, it pulls the pigment out and away it'll slough and turn brown i've already got a couple spots that are doing that but it also pulls water to your face and collagen she zapped a place under my nose that i had this little dinky winky like um 
uh, spider vein and I felt it go through my teeth. It went through my, I mean, I could feel that That's vibration that of right that there, light. Right? I told him, Harry, when I came out, I'm like, my, my lip is numb, right? I'm like, how can I let my lip is numb? It's like a dentist, right? So I had that done yesterday, and she said, when you go home, you're going to want to pack it with ice or cool water. And that's what I did yesterday, you guys. Ah, hence the video yesterday. Yes, <laughs> hence the, uh, we split it up. If you notice, I had the same top on as the day before. And we did that wonderful little ice maker, you guys. And I'm telling you, what a great Father's Day present or a present for yourself. But it's going on sale to $70. June 20th through the 26th, I would get on there and get yourself yeah, one you because one, it's yeah. a fabulous unit. It yeah. truly, if you camp, if you go, if you're a motorhomer, you don't have an ice maker, you have a refrigerator that's spitting out weird ice like I have, that thing is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Anyway, you guys, huh, and I'm still having issues because my face is very swollen, um, pockets, and I'm I look like a little chipmunk today. But I'm happy for it. My chest had these little, I had a few little um, raised bumps. I forgot what she called them, but they blasted those things too, like kind of exploded them. So we'll see how everything does. She's going to send me before then the first treatment, the second treatment, and the third treatment. And then I go back in August to get the finished pictures to see what I look like. So I'm very excited. This, this process I was extremely happy about because it's light. It's not invasive as far as they're not sticking needles or putting filler or any of that crap in me. It's actually making my body work to get rid of those areas and grow brand new skin and collagen underneath. So I'm very excited about it. Yes, I tortured myself. The problem is, is you have to wear a hat and you have to put sunscreen on your hands. And I've got spots where she did it on my hands now. And you walk out in the sun, in the heat, and I, it just radiates already. Well, it's like face. a sunburn, you know. Even though I have a little hat, I'll share my hat. This is my hat. Yes, it is. It's yep. my little hat I got at TJ Maxx. Yep. And I bought it to go bike riding, and it's perfect for my face. Anyway, yep, take the hair off. Oh, man, you guys. We had to do some work out front this morning and I wore my little hat. Thank goodness I did because you can feel the it, it feels like you've got a burn. Yeah, well it you does. weren't supposed to be out in the sun. I know I wasn't supposed to be out in the sun. Anyway, you guys, let me put the hat down real quick. Anyway, you guys. Ha! Huh, what did we have to eat yesterday that was perfectly keto? Because I had all of this stuff done yesterday, I went up on the scale, you guys. I went up two and two tenths pound, and I know it's water. I know it's inflammation because they not they zapped my hand, they zapped my chest, they zapped my face. I had a heck of a time trying to get comfortable last night to sleep. I, um, I changed the thing that I wear to go to sleep in because it was sticking to the area that they did here, and then my hands, and I was just all over. I didn't go to sleep until after two a.m. Last time I looked at the clock, that's what time it was. And when I woke up this morning, and you guys see the pictures, my nose is swollen. I've got puffs, water bags under my eyes. My cheeks are sticking out. Doesn't look like you. Does not look like me. I've got this moon face going on, and if you can see all the little spots on my chest, I don't know if you can or not. When you look sideways, you can see them better than front on view. But um, I'm not worried about this because I know, I mean, I would be freaking out right now if I didn't know it is absolutely from the inflammation that I did through IPL. That I know for sure is what happened. Anyway, you guys, I was thinking, I was thinking, what can I, I want to make meatloaf. Wait a minute, but wait I wanna, a minute, you're not finished with that part yet. Yes, I am. You haven't showed our weight. Have you? I just showed the weight. Oh, did you? Okay. I guess. Where was I? I just... Where was I at? Oh, I was in another realm. I don't know. I think you were being a cameraman because I just showed our weight. Okay, all right. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Man. No, that's fine. Because I could have forgotten to show our weight. Sorry, sorry. Yes, I could sorry. have. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, sorry. because I'm so excited about a taco meatloaf. Mexican meatloaf, man. Right, right. A stuffed one. So what I thought was, you guys, is I would actually take everybody along when I go shopping for the ingredients for this meatloaf. So you guys, come back in the next segment. Let's go shopping. Hey everyone, we are at Bash's and we are going to be 
buying the ingredients for my taco meatloaf. Yes, indeed. So you guys, come along. First, we've got to get some ground beef. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Ground beef. Than 80 20 is 429, 90 20. I mean, 90 10 is on sale for 349. There's two pounds, that's what I want because 80 20 is four dollars and 29 cents. So yeah. I don't want that now. I want to look at pork, so go right here. Let me look at some pork. We've got pork chorizo and beef chorizo. Let me see what this has. This has gluten-free, no preservatives, all natural. It's made in Peoria, Arizona. Beef, paprika, spices, water, salt, flour. Mmm, no thank you. Total carbs, two for two ounces. Let me see what the pork says. Does it say the same? Three carbs. So, you know what? Um... What do you think about this, Terry? It's got pork flour. I want to look at chorizo. No, I want to stay away from the flour if I can, That's but... chili. Sausage. Let me look at the back of this. Two carbs. Where's the ingredients? Dextrose. Oh. I want to add pork to it. Well, what's, what about the ground? Well, this is plain pork, and I'll get one. I like that it says keto. It's plain pork. You don't have to use pork, but I'm using pork. But let's go see if the chorizo, if I can find a clean chorizo. You guys, their meat area is pretty, pretty barren through here. No chorizo. So we're, we're just going to use pork without chorizo, which is fine. Now, you guys, it depends on how hot you like it. You can get green poblano peppers. You can get green chili peppers. You can get uh, the roasted and peeled. You can get fire roasted, diced green chilies that are mild. You can get hatched. You can get all kinds here. So let me think of what I want in my... Depends on what you want, hot? Not you want real hot or hot. mild, no. Harry? Go with the mild. Go with the mild? Yeah. The mahalo? Yeah. Too hot. It's Ooh, hot right now. Or take a fire roasted. Let's make sure. Let's make sure what these have in them. Green chili, salt, and citric acid. Green chili peppers, water, salt, citric acid, calcium chloride. Calories, ton. Total carbs. This one. Total carbs, too. It is... The fire roasted diced green chilies. Ortega. Yep. Fire roasted. You can also get pickled jalapeno peppers too. How much should I get? I think a little can. I think I'm about to do a little can. All right. Okay. And why? La Victoria Salsa Brava. So I'm getting a La Victoria Salsa Brava. Yep. Because that's what we like. Yep. I definitely, that's kind of a mainstay for me. We also like, they have hot. Do they have tamed? No. Bummer. It's like really hard to find tamed because everybody likes them. Hot are these? Nothing. These ones are oh, hot. Slices. These are hot. Right. They don't say if they're hot or not. Do you want to get a little one to yeah, put get, across the top? Grab one, yeah. Grab one. See how they are. So here's the ingredients. We're going to sprinkle those on top. Cheese. Cheese, please, because you guys, we are stuffing this. Yes, we are. Let's go get some cheese to stuff it with, shall we? Do 
you want to do Colby Jack or Sharp Cheddar? Which one? I don't care. You choose. You're the cooking. You're cooking it. I'm going to do Colby Jack. And then let me look at the crema. Table cream. Carrageenan. No, thank you. Well, you have to look at the ingredients. Carrageenan. I think they're all going to have carrageenan in them. Yep. Don't like. They've got original bitchin' sauce here. Bitchin'? It's the queso melting cheese. I was going to stuff it with queso. Okay. Try it out. Instead of ch some cheddar and some queso. Sure. So a mixture. Okay. I'm looking for an enchilada sauce that has clean ingredients. Haven't found it yet. Actually, you guys, I think I'm going to use this Herdis Salsa Casera Medium. It's got pretty good ingredients. Here's the ingredients. Then I don't have to dice my own onions and peppers and all of those good things, and I can just puree this and make what I want to do with it. So you guys, I'll share it all when we get home, but I think we've got all of our ingredients for our taco stuffed meatloaf today. <sighs> she does it again. Check it out. Oh, yes. Another windy break. Well, I guess I better get the cleaning. Because that's my job. Okay, everybody. I have been craving Mexican food. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube. And I thought, and I've been skimming through Pinterest. And I thought, what about a Mexican stuffed meatloaf? Right? Doesn't that sound oh, that great? that sounds freaking great. You guys already it. came with us and saw what I bought. So I've got those ingredients. So here's what I'm gonna do. You guys can use your favorite taco seasoning for this. I am, for simplicity, I am using spicy taco base. If you don't have, if you don't like, if you don't want to use this, use your favorite taco seasoning, okay? And then we'll get started with everything. So here we go. Let me get a, so this is what we're doing. I have one ground, a pound of pork, two pounds of lean 90%, 90-10 of the ground beef, because it was on sale today, okay? So a total of about three pounds. I have got four ounces of the Oxala Mexican queso cheese, shredded, and I am going to use four ounces of the Tillamook Sharp cheddar. This was an eight ounce block and I'm going to use half of it to stuff my meatloaf with. I'm going to be using some La Victoria Salsa Brava. You can use your favorite hot sauce. I am going to use some jalapeno slices. Oh yeah, I love those. I am going to use a little bit of this Hurtis Salsa Casera Medium. Mm -hmm. Spice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that new to us? I don't think I remember. Yes, that. it's new to us. I am going to use a half, a one cup of pork rind panko that I made myself. I took a bag of Mission pork rinds, put them in a bag, rolled them, and got some panko. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic. I'm going to put a little uh, organic seasoned salt, a little cilantro. Little granulated California onion. If you guys didn't have taco sauce, you could even use porking good taco seasoning instead. But watch your salt because this has salt in it already. I have one can small of the diced green chilies, four ounces total, and two eggs. Yes, indeed. So let's get started, you guys. I have my oven preheated at 375. This is going to be big, it's going to be three pounds plus so it's going to be cooking for about an hour so 
we're gonna have leftovers and it's gonna be so delicious and so yummy oh yeah i'm excited right. yes indeed so i hate mixing there goes wendy put on the old examination I hate mixing. gloves again i got the gloves on man got the gloves on dr wendy mad scientist in the kitchen yes indeed so here we go here we go so first i'm putting in my meats into the bowl Where's the scissors? Well, this is supposed to work. Nah, it don't work. Get the scissors. That's like a joke. Mm -hmm. It is. I can't even get this thing open. It's nuts. And I've got thumbs of steel. You've got thumbs of steel. I don't. And you guys, you missed it, but I already broke a bowl. They didn't miss it. I, I broke. Yes, they did. You weren't filming it. I already broke a bowl. Put it on the counter and it... Little does she know, right guys? Did you really film it? Did you catch it? Afterwards. Oh, well. I broke one of these. Yep. Yes, I did. So, an egg. Egg. Can. Can of what? Of the diced, fire roasted, diced oh, yeah. green chilies. The Those Ortega said, fire yeah. roasted. Yes. Yes. Yeah, now here's something stupid. I already got these damp, uh, dirty. So, uh, ma'am, your taco seasoning of your choice can be pork and good taco seasoning. It can be spicy taco based keto chow, which is my preference. It can be homemade. It can be old El Paso. It can be 505, whatever flavor you like. You just put that right on in there, you guys. I've got uh, panko. I put that in there. I am using. <coughs> Why do I do that? <laughs> it's the I know. It's the dust. I'm gonna sprinkle some onion in there. I always wonder if you have to clean. The I'm gonna after sprinkle this. some garlic in there because I like mine garlicky and and oniony. You can use real garlic if you like. I'm going to put just a little bit organic seasoned salt. I'm going to sprinkle it. Sprinkle it to taste. Remember you've got three pounds in here. I'm going to put about oh a tablespoon of cilantro. I love cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, don't use it, but we love it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a quarter of a cup of the salsa casera in with this. Because that gives me my tomatoes and onions. And then I'm going to put in an eighth of a cup, or about a quarter of a, uh, let's see, an eighth of a cup of my hot sauce because we like it hot. Yep. Gotta have it hot. So about an eighth of a cup. Yeah, that's, uh, what kind is that again? This is La Victoria yep, yep, yep. Salsa that's, Brava. That's my fave. What's the temperature on that one? Hot. Yes. Sizzling. Sizzling hot. As it must be. And then I made a boo-boo on here, so let me do this. Now, now I put my gloves on. Now I put my gloves on. So let me get my gloves on. Oh no, Harry. You all out? Yes. <gasps> Guess where I'm gonna have to go. No, I know where there are more. I gotta go get one. I'll be right back. Back to the pantry. Okay. You guys just dig right in. Get that egg. Mm, 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 mm. This is gonna be a behemoth. Huge leftovers. Yes, indeedy. Mm, we're gonna have delicious meatloaf man this is gonna be good that's a lot i know can't wait meatloaf sandwich mm -mm. i had a buddy of mine oh man this smells good when i was in the service he, he loved to cook he used to make me meatloaf all the time Oliveira. yeah Oliveras. yep Oliveras. he probably has some great recipes oh man he has some great people. you can't go wrong with meatloaf you can make it italian you can make it 
like I'm doing making it Mexican, you can make this with turkey meat, you can make it with sausage. I wanted, I looked for chorizo, there wasn't any at the store. I didn't like the, um, well, the, there was some chorizo I showed you guys, but it had uh, flour in it, had wheat, it had uh, something else in it. What was it, wheat flour and something else? Something's hard to see. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Carcerin. Car do not. Caribbean. Something. Anyway. Do not be afraid. Massage the meat. Get in there. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Do not be afraid. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> now. Now what? We are going to cut this in half. Pretend like I'm cutting instead okay. of using my hands. We're pretending. Yes. Can you give me the pan? Can you bring the pan over? Yeah. Put it down. Put it down? You want yes, down that's fine. Or? Nope, that's fine. Because now I'm going to mold the loaf. Want to get the loaf long? Want to get it long? You're making a boat. With a boat. You're right, exactly right. I want the meatloaf to be long with a hollowed out boat in the middle because that's where we're putting all the, the good stuff. cheese. Yeah, all Make the sure good you stuff. don't have any holes that that cheese can leak out of this little moat. This little boat we're building here. You know what I need you well, to do? Okay, so here you go, guys. Go. Harry's gonna have to cut me some cheese. Haha, <laughs> get it? Gary, you're gonna have to cut the cheese. And we'll be right back. He's gonna take an ounce of this and slice it for me so that I can put it in. Do what? Here. I'm gonna do what? Well, come here. Right here. Look. Yeah, I see it. You're gonna take this and you're gonna slice it so I can line it right here. My bad, I forgot to do that. Oh, I can do it right now. Here. Dirty knife, I can just wash the knife. Oh, I can no do it. Deal. Crazy Wendy in the kitchen. Yes, indeed. Oh, she's going cheese. Mama's got cheese. Okay, you guys, I got my cheese. I'm going to put my cheese down this way, I think. Give it room to, give it room to melt. Give it room for deliciousness. Well, you don't poke it through the bottom, you're good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying hard, trying hard. So we made a little moat. Now you want to take the top and match it. You want to take the top. And that's all you put in there? Yep. That's all I'm putting in there. What do you mean on? I've got more to come. Just give me a chance, well, buddy. Well, about that other cheese? Yeah, well, you're going to see what that other cheese is going to do. So now, you want to make this, just mold this all over the bottom. Just want to make it all molded over the bottom, you guys, so that we don't have any holes that that cheese can come out of, out of the moat. Out of that mode inside. It's be in There's always going to get a little bit of cheese. Yeah, you're going to get something it's just out gonna, of it. I just don't see how It's just going to ooze out. It's just going to ooze out. Does this look good so far? Can you guys taste it? Yes. Can you taste that ooey gooey cheddar cheese? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, 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 man. Doesn't that look good? No. I'm making sure my seams are in. I want to seal, seal the deal. Seal my, seal it up. It's a sarcophagus of meat. It is. With cheese inside. Yeah. You guys, with cheese inside. Isn't that a lovely loaf? Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Man. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Ooh, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh, wait, there's more. So, now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some more of the salsa casera medium you can get you know you can make pico de gallo you can use tomatoes you can do your own whatever you want to do but i just want to put a little bit across the top here 
I'm going to put a little bit across the top and I'm going to add some jalapenos. Okay, we're going to add some jalapenos to this across the top. As this cooks and boils, it'll go down, you know, the sides and stuff. One ounce of jalapenos. Measured it out on the scale myself. We like it spicy. You can use the tamed jalapenos if you like. These were the nacho jalapenos um, that we bought. And I'm just going to pour this little juice, splash it all over the top. Now you guys, we are popping this into the oven and we're going to cook this for about an hour. But about 10, and I'm going to temp it. And then about after we've tempted it and it's been cooked, we're going to put, we're going to top it with oxilla cheese and more salsa, you guys. And then we're going to top that with a dollop of sour cream. Woo, oh, man. Yeah, man it's going to be so good, you guys. But this is going to go right in the oven right now. So let me do that. And yes, my oven needs to be cleaned. This door does not. Look at that, you guys. How beautiful is that? Oh, oh, oh. That is my Mexican delicious meatloaf. 60 minutes, here we go. Okay, you guys, let's come back in 60 minutes and do a temp check, shall we? Harry. Is it going? Yes, it is time to take it out. We temped it, it's been cooking for 60 minutes at 375. Now Harry's going to bring it out so that we can top it with the queso cheese. Queso cheese. Queso. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, this looks so good. Go ahead and bring that puppy out. Mm-mm, man, wow, does that look smell? Like, look at that. That smells so good. You guys, come take a look at it. Put it on top because we're going to take it out and put it back in real quick. You can close that and then I'll trade you places. Okay. There you go. Look at that, you guys. And because I used the 9010, I am not getting a lot of drippings. So I have got four ounces of the Oxilla queso cheese that I'm going to put on here. I'm going to put it on top because I want it to melt over the meatloaf. Grand finale. Then I see I'm going to just take a little bit of the porking good taco seasoning. You can take your seasoning that you want. But I'm just going to sprinkle it on top of the cheese just to give it a little bit more punch. You guys, that is going back in the oven. I'm putting it back in the 375 degree oven just until this cheese melts just enough to make it ooey gooey and delicious. So you guys, come back when it's Mexican meatloaf. Yes, indeed. Okay, Harry, I actually turned the broiler on high, you guys, and watched it very carefully until the cheese started melting. Sally, Sally honey, come on. Come, come out of the way. Come on, Sal. Oh look? my gosh. Ooh, oh lot. my Whoa. goodness sakes. Hurry up and get that puppy up on top of the oven. Woo, turn it the long way. Oh man, you guys. Look at this behemoth, yummy, ooey gooey Mexican pizza. Ho, 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 yeah. Look at that. Here, let me get that. Let me see if I can do a picture with that because I am excited. Oh, oh man. Oh, man, does this smell good. Oh, man, look at this, you guys. It's stuffed with cheddar cheese. Ooh, is that look yummy? Yum, 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 deliumptious. Anyway, you guys, we're going to let this rest for about five minutes, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to cut into this behemoth. Yes, we are. Woo, man. It smells like Mexico City restaurant in here. Yes, it does. Anyway, you guys, let me put this down. We're going to come back, 
<laughs> it's five minutes. Gonna let it rest, Harry. Yes, we are. You guys, this is a family feast. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this bohemian oh. Mexican meatloaf. Woo, man. I think you ought to almost call it a volcano because I'll tell you what, it looks like a volcano. Like it's just all the stuff's running Well, let's cut it open, mountain. you guys. Let's cut oh, it open. yeah, let's see the inside. Let's go to the middle. Let's go to the middle yeah, and cut yeah, it open. Yeah. Good idea, good idea. Okay, so. Whoa, huh? Oh, yeah. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? I can feel it. Open it up. Let's see. I don't see any I cheese see there. The cheese. Uh, that's my piece right there. Right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The cheese is coming out. It's dripping out. It's, it, what it done is it melted inside. It's melted the, inside. It's into the burger. It's into it. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, Check it's down it there. Out. Look, it's in there. Yeah, it's in it's there. It's in there. Well, I'm going to cut us a couple pieces and plate it because I want a piece of this. Yes, I do. So is the dog. Look at her. Sally's just standing here like licking her lips. Excuse me, I need a spatula. Look at the cheesy deliciousness. You guys, I put just a little bit of the oxella queso, a dollop of sour cream on both of these, you guys, and oh my gosh, this is amazing. Woo! If you had guacamole, you could put a little side Mexican salad. You know, you could put a little pico de gallo on top. Whoa! Anyway, you guys, Harry is going to do a taste test for us. He gets the big piece. He gets the, which one? I don't even know which one's the big piece. Yeah, I don't so care. Just whatever. You come over here, and I want you to do a taste test. I want you to hold up the plate. I want you to smell it, taste it. Give everybody a taste. A taste of Mexican meatloaf. Grab that plate. Uh, wait. To, do the tour. The tour? You want to see it? Mm. Look at that. This plate's hot. Oh, the cheese on top is melted. Oh, man. Yeah, so good. Looking. So good. Okay. Oh, get it in the middle so you get the sour cream and the That's salsa good. and Let's the cheese and the jalapenos. Oh, man. That is really good. What do you taste? Well, it tastes like a Spanish dish, you know. Yes, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll put it down. Let me try it. It's hot. Woo. That is really good. No. You got to make this again. Well, of course I'm going to make it again. Okay, so this is where the cheddar cheese is. It's in the middle. You guys can see that the cheddar cheese is right there. Okay. It's under the sour cream. Yeah. But I want to get a piece of the meat. I want to get a little piece of the sour of the cheddar cheese. I want to get a little sour cream on that. Okay, you guys, I'm going in. Mmm. 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 Really good, isn't it? Oh my god, I know it's, it's nuts. This. Yeah. is delicious meatloaf all day long you guys wow yeah you gotta make this you, you, you this really be glad you did so good oh so cheesy so delicious you can feed this to your non-keto friends mm-hmm I'm telling you it's it's great mm. so mm, good mm, mm, mm. wow get some of that cheese you guys Mm -hmm. This is delicious. So you know what that means? We're going to have to eat now, but we're going to go ahead and close out the video. Now, can you see the difference in my face just... Yeah, just from now on, between now and just this morning. I still it's have still a little there, swollen. But it's not, not as, bad. as bad. My chest where all of the raised bumps and the redness is, is still there. But my eyes, I can open my eyes. My nose is still swollen. My cheeks still have the water in them. A little puffy here, but not as bad as... When I woke up this morning, I was afraid I could not see. I was like, who is this woman in the bed? I know. Moon face. Anyway, you guys, the price we pay.
price we pay. Anyway, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Say good night, Sally. Did. I know she did. Say good night. Yeah. Did you say cheese? Did you want some cheese? Say good night. Can I have some cheese, Sal? Yes, she is. She's going to have some of this. She said queso, please. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good night.